In November 2023, the European Central Bank began the rollout of the digital euro, which is a central bank digital currency. On the surface, it sounds modern and efficient. But what does it mean in practice? It means centralised control over your money, programmable currency and the potential for financial surveillance and restrictions. In everyday terms, it transfers, it shifts the control of your money over to Europe. So potentially, if at some point they decided in the future that Elaine bought 10 bottles of wine last month, we don't think it's very healthy for Elaine to be drinking 10 bottles of wine, so we're going to restrict how much alcohol Elaine can buy going forward, God forbid. Um, a restriction could be put in place because it's digital and it's controllable by the central bank. Um, the same could be said for things like flights. Um, they may at some point decide, well, we only want people travelling um, four or five times a year. They can restrict, they can put carbon credits in place so people would be, um, so people could be controlled. Now, I know this sounds a little bit um, kind of alarmist or exaggerated, but as matters stand, the banks in Australia are considering banning loans for diesel cars to implement their climate policies by force. So something only looks unlikely until it happens once, but once it happens in one country, it generally rolls into more. Uh, the ECB is planning on launching this digital euro in October 2025, which is three months' time. 